Hi, I'm Ben McSheffrey, and I'm the Technical Training Manager for Simmons Industries. Today I'll be walking you through the setup and installation of the Evolution Building Management System. Evolution from Simmons enables building and property managers to have full insight into their domestic hot water and HVAC systems, and alerting for leak detection right from their smartphone. The Evolution dashboard relays all temperature data from inside the piping, tracks it minute by minute, and delivers accurate temperature readings in real time. Each sensor module also measures real-time ambient temperature and humidity. Evolution then alerts you or your team when your temperature thresholds that you defined are crossed. Plus, Evolution has the added benefit of real-time leak detection. The Evolution app for Android and iOS alerts you instantly when water is detected at the leak sensors, so your team can react before the damage is done. And here's the best part. You can self-install Evolution in just a couple hours. That's right. No expensive plumber fees, no cutting or drilling pipes, and most importantly, no downtime for your guests or residents. Today we'll focus on installation of Evolution's essential package. The installation of the core and premium packages are very similar, just with more sensors and configuration steps. Let's first talk about what's included in the Evolution package. Everything you'll need to install the system is in this one box. The main components of the package are the blue communications gateway, the AC power adapter, three gateway antennas, four green sensor control modules, and four sensors, which could be any combination of temperature sensors or leak sensors. The kit also includes all the accessories needed for a variety of installation situations. Inside you'll find an insulation coring tool, a black foam insulation ring, one package of black cable ties, one tube of thermal compound, and the Simmons Evolution installation packet, which has an installation guide and other documents to help you along. In this video, we'll show how you can go from box to boss with Evolution's total oversight of your building's water and HVAC systems. The first step is to set up a good location for the gateway. It's best if it's in a secure area, such as a mechanical room or a property manager's office. Also make sure you have access to an electrical outlet. The gateway can be placed on a desk or shelf, or it can be mounted vertically on a wall. To ensure a strong signal, it's best to avoid mounting the gateway on a metal surface or enclosing it in a metal cabinet. Next, connect the antennas to the back of the gateway. Each antenna is color-coded to make it easy. Just screw each antenna into the corresponding jack and position them so the antennas flip up vertically. Once the antennas are connected, plug the power jack into the back of the gateway. Then plug the power adapter into an outlet that has constant 110 volt power. The gateway may take a few minutes to boot up, so let's go ahead and install the temperature sensor module. Evolution sensors are unique in that they sense the temperature inside of the pipe through an external sensor. It's not measuring the temperature of the piping material, it's actually reporting the internal water temperature based on the piping size and material. For this reason, it's important to make note of the material and size of the piping when installing the sensors. And we'll use that information a little later when we set up the app. Let's talk briefly about the general location for sensors. Where you place your sensors depends largely on how many sensors you plan on using and what systems you intend to track. Since we're installing the essential package, we'll mount our sensors in the most beneficial locations to start. You can always add more sensors whenever and wherever you see the need. Ideally, sensors on domestic hot water systems should track the outlet temperature of hot water from the main mixing valve that's feeding the building. In this case, the sensor should be located on the hot water supply line, about one foot downstream of the main mixing valve, on a nice straight piece of piping. For sensors on HVAC systems, sensors should be placed on the main supply and return lines for the cooling unit. Just make sure that the sensor and sensor module are located inside the building and protected from the elements. Now, we'll move on to mounting the sensors to the piping. And it's so easy, even I can do it. The first mounting situation we'll talk about is the most common, mounting temperature sensors to insulated piping. Everything you'll need to do this is included in the Evolution Kit. For this step, we'll use the coring tool to cut a nice round hole in the insulation for the sensor probe. Just find a good spot on a section of straight piping and gently twist the coring tool into the insulation to make a hole. When you're done, just make sure there's no insulation blocking the hole. Stick your finger in and tuck any remaining insulation out of the way so you have a nice clear view of the pipe inside. The Evolution Kit also includes a tube of thermal paste. Place a small amount of the paste on the very end of the sensor probe. Just about as much as a sunflower seed should be enough. This paste helps transfer accurate readings to the sensor module, so don't skip this step. Then, insert the sensor probe into the hole and gently push inward. The assembly is spring-loaded to keep the sensor probe in firm contact with the pipe. Snug up the cable ties evenly so the sensor sits against the insulation and stands completely perpendicular to the pipe. Make sure it's not angled or sagging. In some situations, you may need to mount the sensor to uninsulated pipe. The Evolution Kit includes accessories for mounting to bare pipe as well. First, find a good piping location, like we mentioned earlier. 
ideally on a straight section of pipe that's as easy to access as possible. Inside the box, you'll find the black foam ring that looks like a donut. Just slide that ring over the green sensor probe. Apply the thermal paste to the end of the sensor. Again, use a small amount and don't skip this step. Press the foam ring and temperature sensor onto the pipe and snug up the cable ties so the sensor sits firmly at a 90 degree angle. Now we'll mount the green sensor modules. These modules relay temperature and leak information from the probes to the gateway, then onto the Evolution app. The sensor probes have a six foot cable, so find a good location within reach and try to make them as accessible and visible as possible. There are a few ways you can mount the unit. You can attach them to the walls with screws, or you can use the cable ties to attach them to the insulated pipes, brackets, or hangers. The modules are splash proof, but not waterproof, so make sure they're mounted in a dry location since they also sense ambient temperature. They also include electronics and small internal antennas, so don't mount them to hot or metal surfaces. The cable connector fittings have notches that only allow the fittings to go together one way. Just rotate the connectors until they match up, then spin the locking ring until it locks into place. Now let's take a dive into leak sensors. Evolution's leak sensors are far superior to other leak sensors in the field today. Most others use small electronic sensors that sit in one location, about the size of a deck of cards. Evolution's leak sensors are long, flexible ropes that can cover a large area or even surround a storage tank. Any leaks on the floor or in drain pans will trigger an immediate alert to prevent reduced water damage. Best of all, the leak sensors integrate an alert on the same Evolution app, so all of your building information is in one place. Mount the leak sensors in areas where there is potential for significant leaks, like in mechanical rooms, near water heaters and storage tanks, or near sumps. To mount the sensor ropes, use the adhesive clips to hold the rope in place. If the floor or surface is dirty, use the alcohol wipes to spot clean the area first so the clip will stick better. Then, once the leak sensor is set, plug it into the sensor module, just like you did for the temperature sensor. That's it. Now that our sensors are mounted, let's power up the modules and connect them to the gateway. Just press that big green button in the center of the module for five seconds, and the red LED light will start blinking. Your sensor module is ready to connect to the gateway. Now we'll download the Simmons Evolution app onto your smartphone. It's available for both Apple iOS and Android phones, and all you need to do is scan the QR code with your camera to download it. You can find the app's QR code in the installation packet. Once the app is installed and you've completed the self-guided setup, you can link the sensor modules to the app. These little QR codes on the sensor modules and gateway are the keys to simple installation. They're really amazing. Just scan the QR code on the gateway and follow the on-screen instructions to link it. Then scan the QR codes on the individual sensor modules and you're connected. The app will walk you through the entire process in a matter of minutes. With your sensors connected to the Evolution app, you're now dialed into your building's water and HVAC systems like never before. With a deeper knowledge of what's actually happening with temperatures, specifically during demand periods. You'll have temperature thresholds that you set and alerts will trigger if those thresholds are crossed, giving you and your team time to react long before the angry phone calls start. And with leak detection, you'll know immediately if something goes wrong. Whether it's a burst pipe, a trip relief valve, or just a dead sump pump, Evolution lets you know so you can get on it fast. If you have any questions related to Evolution, just contact your dedicated customer success manager. We'll respond right away and make sure to get you up and running. On behalf of the entire crew here, thanks for letting us show you how to set up Evolution from Simmons. Oh,